ください。Khabib Nurmagomedov began training at the age of six under the tutelage of his father, and by the time of his first MMA contest, he had gained a background in freestyle wrestling, judo, and combat sambo. Before his UFC debut, Khabib's matches took place on either an open mat or in a ring, and his early takedown game consisted almost exclusively of shooting to his knees for a single leg with the head on the inside. The majority of these shots are taken from outside of striking range of his opponents and made with minimal setup. Once he got in on the single leg, he would finish them in three primary ways, with the most common of these being the cutback. Next, we will see Ben Askren demonstrate how to finish the single leg shot with the cutback. Once you have shot in on the single leg, you finish by stepping your leg up, raising your head up to the ceiling, and pulling your opponent's leg up and across your body. Here we see examples of Khabib using the cutback in his matches. Here he shoots in on the single leg, lifts his leg up, and then drags his opponent's leg up across his body. This single leg finish was favoured by Khabib during the majority of his early matches. If his opponents were able to stand or maintain balance during the cutback, then Khabib would switch to running the pipe. This is where once you have the single leg, you rotate your body with a back step, and as your opponent hops around, you drop your weight onto their thigh to force them to sit down. Here during a match you can see him shoot in for the single leg, rotate his body around, and sit his opponent on their back. And lastly, his third option off the single leg was to turn the corner. This is when, once you have locked onto the single leg, you start stepping around to the opponent's back. As you make your way around, it is common that your opponent will pull guard, but if you turn quicker than they do, then you will take their back. Here in a match, Khabib locks onto the single leg, and as he turns, his opponent pulls guard. And with this shot, we'll see Khabib chain these techniques together. As he shoots in low, grabs onto a single leg, head on the inside, he first tries for the cutback. With that failing, he stands and goes to run the pipe, also unsuccessful, eventually turning the corner and taking his opponent's back. With a pre-UFC career consisting almost entirely of taking single leg shots, he would enter the octagon with a 16-0 record and face a substantial step up in the level of competition. In his first outing, he would face an accomplished wrestler in Kamal Shalarus, who with head position against the cage and a good sprawl, was able to defend Khabib's takedown attempts initially. But after causing damage with strikes, he was able to work his usual strategy of a strong single leg with a cutback finish. But next, he would face his toughest challenger to date. Glyson Tebow, a physically imposing veteran of over 50 fights and holding an impressive 92% takedown defense statistic. During the contest, Khabib applied his usual takedown strategy but had every single leg attempt defended. Overall, he went zero of 13 takedown attempts. Using the fence to keep his balance, Tebow was able to defend against the cutback, running the pipe, turning the corner, and any other technique that Khabib applied. Although Khabib still won a close split decision victory, a weakness in his strategy had been revealed.
After that fight, Khabib would switch his USA training camp to American Kickboxing Academy, and his next attempt at takedowns would see a new strategy employed. Against Abel Trujillo, he would look for an upper body clinch to take the back and secure a body lock. He would then execute a series of trips, sweeps, and throws. If you're interested in learning more about this mat return strategy, you can view my other study which goes in depth on this topic. Using this new strategy against Abel Trujillo, he set the UFC record for the most takedowns in a match with 21, and all of this without any of his previously utilized single leg shots. Where he had once been relentless in shooting for single legs, he was now persistent in securing upper body clinches, body locks, and taking the back. With his clinches, he would now also use a strategy which he had shown on a few previous occasions in his bouts prior to the UFC. When clinching against the ropes, Khabib would secure a body lock and then bounce and turn his opponents towards the center of the ring before executing an inside or an outside trip takedown. This is a strategy favoured by Ben Askren, as he demonstrates here using the fence to secure your body lock and then rotating your opponents away from it to prevent them from using the fence to keep balance. Once Khabib secures this, he will then use a series of inside trips, outside trips or brute force lifts. Bib would now also use his striking much more effectively to set up his takedowns. While his striking could be described as wild, with winging hooks, lunging uppercuts, and flying knees, it serves a purpose to pressure his opponents, where if he now gets them on the fence and committing to or defending strikes, he will grab a quick double leg takedown. And if you now attempt to negate Khabib's pressure striking by moving forwards, he will shoot for a reactive double leg takedown. We have seen Khabib evolve from being primarily focused on single leg shots to now being more centered around upper body takedowns and using his striking to set up double legs. The constant threat of takedowns, relentless mat returns and exhausting groundwork combined with wild and continuous pressure striking can force his opponents to make bad decisions, like when RDA decided to shoot on Khabib in the third round setting up a massive Harigoshi throw. Or, when Abel Trujillo chooses to clinch with Khabib in the third round of their bout. And lastly, in the third round of his bout with Michael Johnson, after having successfully sprawled, Johnson decides to jump guard and go for a guillotine.
that completes this breakdown of Khabib's takedowns. I'm considering making a study of his ground game and mat work, so leave a comment if that would interest you. Also check out my other video breakdown of his mat returns. Please like, share and subscribe, and check out my website for other articles. Peace.